Hi, I'm Tammy. I'm a CPP, which is a certified professional bookkeeper. This channel is Simple Balance. We're here to have real conversations and talk about simple solutions for business owners. Today, specifically, we're talking about what I believe is the best bank for small business in Canada. So what I'm going to talk about today is the highlight reel. The major components I considered when deciding on what I felt was the best bank in Canada. So before I get too far into this video, I feel the need for a legal disclaimer because those banks have a lot of money and I don't want to be sued. So I need to let you know, this is my personal opinion. and. It's a biased opinion. Absolutely it is. It's based on 10 years of experience working with various banks and business problem solving and bookkeeping with clients. Okay, enough of all that. Let's get started. So the first topic we're going to talk about today is the ease of setting up a bank account. Who in the past, of my experience, has won with that? Uh, hands down, it was BMO. Absolutely, positively. BMO's first place. Scotia was second place. RBC and TD were tied for third place. And CIBC, you got fourth place. Okay, next category is the ease of completing tasks without the bank's assistance. So that's a pretty important one for ongoing, right? Here again, I feel like BMO won on that one. RBC is pretty good. They got second place. TD for third place. CIBC fourth place. And Scotia, you take the fifth place rule there. Sharing of information. CIBC got first place here. And for good reason. Second place was TD. Third place was BMO. And fourth place was Scotia and RBC. Support through ongoing issues. So I need to premise this with these rankings will absolutely positively change based on the industry your business operates in. If you're in an industry like a dental office where you have high volumes, and you can sustain a large amount of debt, and you probably need a fair amount of debt for all of the equipment and all of the other things you're looking at with running a dental office, the banks will love you. If you're a smaller business, don't really have need for debt, that sort of thing, they don't love you as much. It's true, sorry. So. Support for ongoing issues overall, definitely BMO. BMO has won there. And it might be the incredible teams that we've worked with with BMO, but consistently we've had incredible people helping us on issues and felt like there was less siloing and not as much just passing the buck on. Uh, second place is RBC. We've had some incredible experiences with RBC, and we've had some pretty horrible experiences with RBC as well. TD came in with third place, Scotia fourth place, and CIBC, sorry to tell you, you're fifth place again. So an area that speaks to my heart is automation potential. Hello, can I have something happen automatically without me trying to remember it with everything else going on? Yes, yes please. Automation potential, first place, CIBC. They've got some stuff going on there. Second place, Scotiabank. Third place, RBC. Fourth place is TD. And fifth place here was BMO. Yep, yep, you heard me right, it was BMO. Okay, I am going to mention location specifics 
should be coming up in your decision of what bank you're going to be dealing with. If you're in a smaller rural community and the bank you want to deal with isn't actually in your town, you need to think to yourself, how often will I need to go into the branch to get help with something? And if I need to do that, how long is it actually going to take me to do that task? If you have to drive half an hour to the bank and there's a different one that's five minutes down the road, that can have an impact on how much of your workday that you lose. On top of where are they, what are their hours? That can be a big one for me. There's a branch here in my town. Their hours are 10 to 4. I don't understand why. What are the staff at that specific location like in terms of quality and helpfulness? And how do they treat people of color or indigenous background or Asian background? Like, are they racist there? That could be an issue. If you think this video will be useful for someone else, give it a thumbs up. That way YouTube will let other business owners see it too. Bank fees is obviously an area that as a business owner is going to be a high priority for you, especially when you're first starting out or, you know, you're a smaller company. Bank fees on a regular basis, it can take a hit. So first place for bank fees, it's BMO. And with a bank account that starts at zero dollars a month you can understand why now that doesn't mean it's completely free there are other fees associated with it and i'll cover that in my banking video on bank fees which when it's done i'll link up here if you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell you'll be notified when that video releases second place is rbc third place is td Fourth place is Scotia, and fifth place is CIBC. So I'm about to give you the ranking of which is the best bank for small business in Canada. But I want you to realize that the ranking I give doesn't mean, oh, I should just go out to that bank and get a bank account there, because there are different things that might make them the wrong bank for you. So what type of client are you? Are you very comfortable with technology or are you less comfortable with technology? Are you someone who needs to go into the bank and talk to a teller? Or are you quite comfortable with dealing with the bank machine? These are things to consider. Are you going to be doing your own bookkeeping or, you know, someone who's also a part of the business that will have a login to the bank account? Or will you be hiring someone else to take that on for you and have to give them access? You can't just give a bookkeeper access to your bank account by giving them your, your bank logins. That's really not a great idea in a lot of different ways. And it's actually in violation of your card agreement with the bank and they can take it from you. So let's not do that. Okay. So the final rankings are in, and shockingly enough, um, which you may have noticed as I went through, there was a certain bank that was doing better than the rest. That's not the bank that I've been banking with. That's not the bank I believed before I started this video would actually hold first place. But here you go. First place is none other than BMO. In second place, we have RBC. In third place, we have TD, CIBC in fourth place, and Scotia in fifth place overall. And there you have it, folks. My opinion of which is the best business bank in Canada. So, what do you think? Did I get the rankings right? Do you agree with me or disagree? Comment below. Also, if you're interested in seeing the steps I take in creating passive income, click that subscribe button. Have a great day.